On today's episode of Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where a grown man opens old baseball cards and talks about it, our two packs are 1988 Fleer, it is junk, it is wax, it is junk wax, and 1993 Upper Deck Series 1. Uh, I mean, it's tamper-proof foil, it's glossy, it's got metallic ink, it's got some decent uh, chase cards in here. It's not that bad, but uh, it still fits in our 1987 to 1994 timeframe for what we do open here on the channel, generally speaking. I mean, we do make exceptions, but we'll cover it. It's part of our, our junk wax double today. Let's begin with 88 Fleer. Maybe, maybe we'll get uh, I don't know, the Mark Grace out of here. I remember pulling the Walt Weiss card uh, back in the day and being very excited. We do have Greg Jelks and Tom Newell. Not a, not a fine bunch of prospects as far as the, they panned out. Jimmy Key, though, pretty good pitcher for the day. Keith Miller, Brian Downing, okay. Glenn Wilson, and a mullet? Is, is that his hair? Nice work, Glenn. Uh, Hitting King and the Thief, Tony Gwynn and Vince Coleman, nice. John Morris, whoa. Double Brian Downing's, it's my lucky day. Double Gl Glenn Wilson's, whoa. What is <laughs> I don't think I've ever opened a Fleer pack that does that. All right, we'll come back to that. Ron Kittle, R.J. Reynolds, the baseball player, not the tobacco company. Steve Lombardozzi. And we end with Tom Hume. But all right, we got to go through this again. This is some quality control on the level of 1987 Pacific soccer cards. All right, there's one Brian Downing, one Glenn Wilson, one Hit King and the Thief, one John Morris, another Brian Downing, another Glenn Wilson, another Hitting King, and another John Morris. Why could not have been, yeah, you know. All right, so we got Tony Gwynn's. We got a couple Tony Gwynn cards in here. It just, it kills me that when this happens, it's usually just a, a spree of junk. But uh, a couple Tony Gwynn cards, not bad. Weird, it doesn't count as a, a double header though, because it's, Doubles out of the same pack. That's just weird. That's quality control, not a, a fun feature. On to the 93 upper deck, <laughs> series one. Let's pull it out of the tamper-proof foil. I think somebody advised me that there's a notch here in the corner, and lo and behold, there is. Let's see if that makes that easier to uh, extract the rest. Or if it just exposes a bunch of corners <laughs> to damage. Uh, you can tell I did not open a ton of this back in the day, so. We do the best we can. All right. Let's see if the quality control is any better, upper deck. Harold Baines. He's in the Hall of Fame. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. Iron and steel. Cal Ripken and with sideburns, Brady Anderson. Brady Anderson and his sideburns. Nice. Nice. Of course, these are upper decks. They're going every which way. There's Brett Boone. There's Ivan Rodriguez. I love that. And uh, not weird eyes. Like the whites of his eyes are not glowing in an unnatural way. Nice card there for Ivan Rodriguez. I'll take that every time. There's Matt Noakes, another catcher. Doing some tea work. Good for you, Matt. Royce Clayton, love the, the proper horizontal or landscape layout here of the card. Beautiful. Another catcher, Brian Harper. Not pictured, his cell phone. If you know, you know. Brian Harper. Another nice card for Cousin Terry Pendleton. Hello, my name is Cousin Terry Pendleton. For those who have asked, and, and boy, have you asked, uh, I put a link to the uh, origin of the, the, this bit, Cousin Terry Pendleton, Cousin Mickey Tetleton, etc. Um, it's from an old episode of Perfect Strangers, and I found a link to it. It's in the, uh, in the show description. Check it out and uh, <laughs> enjoy the anticlimactic reveal. There's Manuel Lee. That's got to be Manny Lee, because if that's Manny Lee, there's Tom Browning. Bat on the shoulder, as we normally think of him. Dennis Martinez, El Presidente. 
Uh, we got Jose Canseco with the Rangers, rocking the Oakleys. Nice one for Jose. Mike Henneman. Nice action shot there. We got Rich Rodriguez. And we end with Mark Guthrie in the windup. I, I love the, the gloss here. I love the metallic gold uh, name. I'm not so crazy about the font that reminds me of Mistral that you get by default with your Windows uh, PC. But there we go. 1993 Upper Deck. We've got the Yvonne Rodriguez here to go along with our weird collation issue from 1988 Fleer. It's Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube, where we open old baseball cards and have a good laugh sometimes. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow with two more packs on the channel. Thanks for watching.